Hi everyone, Yatam here and thank you for joining me. Today we'll be reviewing the Casio CDS-1 keyboard. I have it for over a year and I got it as a portable take anywhere keyboard. It's very light, weighs four and a half kilograms and it runs on double eight batteries, which is very convenient. It served me very well during jam sessions, traveling, practice, and in fact, we'll be reviewing it and list the pros and the cons. Is this keyboard for you? Stick around to find out. And now, the piano sound. The piano is pretty good for a keyboard of this price range. It's around $200, depending on where you're from. Now, the next piano sound has a really interesting quick in which it has a pad underneath it, but it only triggers when I play three or more notes. So, Now, the next piano sound is a very bright cut through the mix sound. I like to play Latin with it. So there are 61 sounds overall on this keyboard. Some of them can be accessed through the main buttons here, not all. And as you can see, no screen. It's very simple, plug and play, no distractions. So if you're a beginner or you buy this for your kid and you don't want him to be distracted by screens and he, he has enough screen time. So this is a great keyboard. You just focus on playing, that's it. Nothing digital in front of you. So the way you select the other sounds that are not accessible through the front panel is by a combination of a button and a key. 61 sounds, each key corresponds to a different sound. For example, pressing the B key gets me a rose. So let's hear it. Yeah, the rose is kind of good, actually. And now, no keyboard is complete without the cheesy FM DX7 style electric piano from the 80s.
and a Wurlitzer electric piano sound. There's even a CP70 slash CP80 Yamaha electric grand sample from the 70s. Actually, it's this one. Yeah, that's more like it. Now the organs are quite good. Let's listen to the generic Hammond sound. And next is a Hammond sound, which is velocity sensitive, so the harder I press, the more draw bars open up, so the sound is brighter. Really nice. Uh, we have a rock organ as well. And a church organ. Not the chord progression used in Baroque and classical music, but, you know. And a couple of keyboard sounds. Clavinet, it, 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 it isn't really a good sound on, you know, on par with something like Nord, but it does the job. And lastly, we have a really cool Mellotron tape flute kind of sound, which I really, really like. Yeah, that's cool. Now the synthesizer sounds are not really the strongest point because again, you can't change the cutoff, the resonance and the envelope or other parameters, but the, uh, they actually sampled an Oberheim into this, a real analog synth, and it sounds like this. That's fat. Yeah, and the last one is a really cool synth lead. Yeah.
Yeah, the strings are very sharp. They're not meant to be layered uh, with a different sound, just to stand as an orchestral string by themselves, like... Which I really, really like. I wish more keyboards had that kind of sounds. I have a ES920 Kawaii digital piano and the strings are very weak and they don't have the attack to just uh, be played by themselves as a like as an aggressive kind of string patch and I like this about the Casio so uh, you know a couple of vibraphones but all in all let's talk about this keyboard is it for you yes no pros cons the action so this is not a weighted action of course 61 lightly weighted keys with springs instead of actually counterweights and I find that the action is quite solid but you still if you're a hardcore pianist you may still trigger notes you're not meant to or you don't intend to and overall I know many professional musicians who use this as just as a fun keyboard as a busking keyboard and for serious gigs they take their actual pro instruments and I think that's great even if you're starting out and you buy this and you start learning piano and after like a couple of months you you see that you uh, you practice and you advance and you make progress you reward yourself with an actual piano or a digital piano you're still left with a portable instrument with powered speakers and everything you can take anywhere and play with friends so again this is not expensive I think it's a great investment and the built-in speakers are great. Not loud, but I actually gigged once with the built-in speakers in front of like 30 or so people, you know, in a small room and it, it was fine, it was great. So I guess this is it for now. And I'll see you guys next time.